Alright, so you want to get started in sim racing, but don't know where to begin. Well, you found the right video. I know sim racing can seem very daunting and expensive, but let me tell you it's not. Especially for beginners. So today, I'm going to tell you how to get started in sim racing in three easy steps. But before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button. It takes a second to do, and it's completely free. Again, I'm asking you nicely, so please do it. Don't make me ask again. Alright, so step one. Pick your console. So you really only have three options here, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, sorry Switch players. But this step is one of the most important because it will dictate what games and sims and gear that you need. And that's it, that's step one. Literally done, just like that. All right, step two, pick your game. Now this will depend on your console choice, but for beginners, I can recommend a few games to get started. If you're on PlayStation, my easy hands-down recommendation is Gran Turismo 7. GT7 is one of the best modern sim racing games I have played, and now the physics aren't as hardcore as some of the big boys, but this game is easy to pick up and enjoyable both online and offline. On top of that, you'll get to drive a range of cars so you can really find out what you like to drive. Whether that's open wheel, GT, high downforce, no downforce, there's a ton of options for you. Now the second sim I would recommend is Project Cars 2, if you can get your hands on it. Now I recommend this for the same reason I recommend Gran Turismo 7, because this game has over 180 cars and over 60 laser scan tracks to give you a ton of variety and learn what you really like to race on. The third game I would recommend is F122. Now if you love F1, this is the game for you. Now in recent times, this game has become a little bit more arcadey but it still offers an unmatched F1 driving experience with all the F1 tracks you love. And finally, one more I recommend for all consoles is Assetto Corsa. Now this game has some of the best physics hands down despite coming out back in 2014. The car selection is incredible and if you're on PC you can make this game look absolutely incredible as well as add almost any car imaginable. Now this game has a higher learning curve than other, but if you're willing to get into it, Assetto Corsa is another great option. Alright, step three, choose your gear. Now listen, you do not have to go out and buy a 5k sim racing rig to sim race. In fact, some people use a controller and are super competitive and have just as much fun. But if you do want to wheel in a rig, here's what I suggest. First off, the Logitech wheels. Both the G29 and G920 come in ultra affordable just around $300. And you can easily find them used for around 100 to 150 and they often go on sale on both Amazon and Best Buy just for around 200 brand new. Now, these wheels are more than enough to be competitive with and offer high quality metal pedals and paddle shifters, along with a clutch pedal. They're compatible with both PC, Xbox, and PlayStation depending on the model you get, and to me, you can't go wrong with any of these. But another option is from Thrustmaster, the TC-128, which comes in at just $200. It's another great deal and people swear by this pedal, but unlike the Logitech wheels mentioned earlier, there is no clutch pedal and the pedals are made out of plastic. But you can upgrade to the T248, which comes with metal pedals and a clutch, just like the Logitech wheels. Now all of these wheels mentioned can be mounted to a desk or to a rig depending on what you have. And that's it. That's step three. And that's how to get started sim racing in three easy steps. Now if I had to add one more, would be ready to commit time and effort to this. Sim racing can have a steep learning curve and some can find it very difficult when they start. Don't expect to come right in and start fighting for poles and wins. I mean if you can do that, that's awesome, you're better than me. I had no shot when I first started, I constantly was spinning. But one of the most rewarding things is finally starting to get it down and fight for poles and wins. And it depends on the lobby you're in. A lot of these sims have skill based matchmaking, so you won't be fighting with pros and high level players right off the bat. And that's it. Welcome to Sim Racing. I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments or DM them to me on any of my social medias, all at BuzzLightskin. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.